guys, Xenohard13 here again, back with another video. And as you've seen, as usual from the title, doing another unboxing of a Plague's Tale Requiem. Now I'll admit, I will admit that I did not get the chance to play a Plague's Tale Innocence. So, in which case, I will not be fully playing this, I'm just doing an unboxing, I will not be fully playing this until I have some understanding about what A Plague's Tale is about for myself, because it would be so much easier just going online and seeing like a story recap, you know, and all that stuff, but I'm going to do what all good gamers do and play the games in the series. So, but anyway, uh, all I know is that so far from the story, from what I a little bit I played, I only played the tutorial of Innocence, just enough so that I know that this is named, that her name is named, the older sister, her name is Amicia, and the little brother's name is Hugo, or Hugo, more, more you, you know. Anyway, here's the boxing, you know. Plague's Tale, Requiem, the sequel to Innocence. I don't exactly know when that one came out. I think it came out in like 2016. Right? I don't know. This sounds like, I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Got it for PS5. Right, I'm for Mature. Developed and or published by Azabo Studios and Focus Entertainment. Around the side. Like uh, Requiem. And, uh, right here it has, like, thing you can pause that, you know, read that if you want to. I'm going to read it right here for you. It says, Far across the sea, an island calls. Embark on a heart-trending journey into a brutal, breathtaking world and discover the cost of saving those you love in a desperate struggle for survival. Right here is three scenes from the game. It says, sequel to the award-winning adventure of Plague Tale Innocence that moved millions of players. One player, 43 gigabytes minimum, minimum, minimum and vibration, function, and trigger effects supported. It's rated M for Mature because of due to blood and gore, strong language, and violence. Of course, that's like other other languages here. Oh, and I almost forgot. Sorry for the cock block and teasing. We're going to roll the intro before we officially get into this. Let's get on with this. Stop teasing your cocks. Let's get into it. Okay, so if anybody else is playing a Plague Cell Requiem, please let me know down in the comments below what you think of this game so far. If you've beaten it, let me know. If you are currently playing it, let me know. If you're picking it up, let me know. If you're not picking it up, get out. This is safe haven. Okay, I'm going to open this bad boy up. No. Okay, I'm gonna open this. I've honestly heard nothing but good reviews on a Plague's Tale series. I heard it's beautifully well designed, kind of like uh, it, I want to say it's almost as beautiful because I've seen the trailer for for Requiem and stuff like that. I want to say it's about as beautiful looking as The Last of Us and even Life is Strange. And those are by far my favorite games, like of all time. Like those series are my favorites like top tier and then my kingdom hearts and final fantasies are down there so you know what get out of here okay, i'm gonna open this okay so we got the game disc right there you know plague cell mark boom put that back in there and we got the protector pack comes with a special crossbow uh hair piece and i want to say herbs Okay, the code is on the back. I will not be showing. Uh, I'll be, I'll be installing the, I'll be installing this on my PS5 um, when I get the chance. But um, as far as actually fully playing it yet, I won't be doing that just yet. Not until I actually play some Plague's Tale Innocence because I want to know what the hell is going on. So that was the unboxing for a plague's tale requiem i hope you guys enjoyed it um it's definitely a new type of gaming experience for me you know all that good stuff um but anyway of course 
Uh, if you like the video, please let me know down in the comments below why you like the video. I don't know. You know, I'm just kind of throwing that out there. But, anyway, I'm going to, you know, because it is late. You know what I'm saying? It is late. Also, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I will, in fact, be starting my... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Pardon me. I will officially be starting my Last of Us Part 1 walkthroughs with no commentary because it, this is a story-driven game. I don't do commentary on story games. Um, um, or, you know, and all that stuff. Technically, all games are story, but as far as, like, The Last of Us or if I was to do a series on Plague's Tale or something else like that, no. You guys are not going to get any commentary of it. I will be officially starting it, and we're going to try to do it before October's end because I want to do it like it's kind of like a spooky game, you know, zombies, all that stuff. Ooh. But we're going to get all that done, and I promise you're going to have a great time. Stick around, turn on the bell for notifications when you get notified when the stream officially happens for all the parts of The Last of Us. But anyway, I'm Xenohar13, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.